Hey, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. We're going to talk about de deploying AutoCAD today. And actually, what we're going to show you will work with a lot of Autodesk products, but we're just going to focus on AutoCAD 2017. So first thing you're going to want to do is grab your installation files, place them on a file share somewhere, an accessible file share. So that's what I've done here. And then navigate out to that share. And then I'm, you see the setup.exe, we're just going to actually run this. Now, we're not going to install this on this machine. We are going to uh, create a deployment. This is really cool. With um, Autodesk has, has uh, made this deployment tool, kind of like the uh, Microsoft OCT, the Office Customization Toolkit. And Adobe has something similar as well, where you can uh, basically tell uh, Auto, AutoCAD, Autodesk what you want to install, and it just kind of builds up that, that installation that you can then use with PDQ Deploy to push out your, your deployment. So there's Create the Deployment. Let's create the deployment button there. Once again, we're not going to install it. All right, so the de deployment configuration name. Obviously, just call it something that's, that makes sense. I'm going to call this one uh, AutoCAD 2017. And the administrative image path. This is where uh, this deployment is going to actually copy a bunch of files out. So you're going to need to have you know a, a file share once again available. So we're just going to go out to um, you can see I've got this right there. And let me just make sure that that works. Yeah, so we're going to go into uh, I'll create a folder called 2017. Perfect. So we'll just say it's AutoCAD and then 2017. So this is where all these files are going to be copied. All right. Uh, I'm just going to include only the products here. Uh, I'm going to uncheck that, create a log file on each workstation. You can do that if you want. Um, create a network log file that uses the same the same path as your administrative uh, image path and click next obviously you'll need to accept the EULA um, and then you're gonna have to uh, enter in your serial number or however you license your Autodesk products so I'm gonna use a serial number and ask JJ to make sure to hide this and it, it gives you pretty immediate feedback on whether or not uh, you've got a, a correct a correct key There we go. All right, then you're going to be presented with this window. <clears throat> I'm going to minimize this one, just remove some of the background noise. This is where you can kind of customize the deployment even more, which which uh, you know components you want. The Autodesk desktop app generally is something you'd probably want to remove as an administrator. This is just going to be kind of a, a nag screen saying, hey, there's a new update available. Well, you're the administrator. You're going to be deploying the updates, so you might want to turn that off. And just to kind of speed things up, I'll turn this, turn some of these other things off. And if you want to even break down Autodesk AutoCAD's 2017 more, you just hit that uh, drop arrow and, and you can choose your settings here. All right. And we'll hit Create. And now what this is doing, and we're going to take a break here in a second and come back, because this, this will take a while. This is going to compile all of the prerequisites, uh, which there are quite a few. Um, as well as the actual program and just kind of throw all those installation files in one directory and um, get everything ready that you had selected for this particular deployment. So we'll take a break, come back in a minute and uh, pick up where we left off. This is what we're going to do next is actually um, get ready to deploy this using PDQ Deploy. So we'll see you in a second. All right, welcome back. So we've created the deployment now using the uh, create the de deployment tool from Autodesk. Now there's a little button here, add updates. You can click that. And uh, if there are updates available for the product, then it will go out and, uh, and find them. Perfect, and you can see here, it's completely up to date. So there we go. I'm looking over at JJ going, did this just fail? <laughs> so 
So we'll go ahead and hit close. Yeah, so if you don't, if there's no updates available, then then there's no updates. But if there were, this would actually take the update, the updates and append them to the installation so that you'd be all, all up and running. Anyway, uh, so now we've created a deployment. Now, where did that go? Remember, we went out to, um, we went out to a token. In our case, we went out, so obviously go out to your, uh, your UNC path, your file server. And, uh, We went into the deployments directory. Now there's AutoCAD 2017. Remember, that's what we created. Now, you notice there is a shortcut file, an LNK file, called the name of the deployment that you, the name that you gave in that first field, AutoCAD 2017. Now, um, one thing you could do if you want, but kind of defeats our purposes here, uh, you could have an administrator at, at, a, at a target machine, just double click on that and it would install, it would install the, uh, you know, the AutoCAD as you had configured it. But what we're gonna do, go to properties of this shortcut file. You see that target field, I want you to copy that. So just do a control C or something, grab that value. Now we're gonna open up PDQ deploy. And this is effectively how you would do, do it in um, SCCM as well, where you, you're just basically copying that, those instructions in that, in that shortcut file creating your your deployment so we're going to go to new package um, something different well let's give this a name first of all autocad 2017 and uh, we're going to create a new step we're going to do a command step not an install step so we'll delete the default install step install step is where you would usually specify an exe or you know an msi or something but in this case we're going to do an ins a command step because we're not going to be um, copying the install file down to the targets. We're gonna be running everything from your file server. So here, just paste what you had copied from that shortcut in here. And um, if you see a slash trial, you can go ahead and remove that since we're not gonna be installing the trial mode. And now this is very important. You see where it says right after setup exe, you're gonna to wanna to do a slash uppercase W and a space. The W, uppercase W means you're gonna wait. You're gonna run this command, but you're gonna wait for all of those uh, sub processes that are gonna be called to finish before you return. If you don't hit, if you don't use a slash W, this will return fairly quickly and it will probably come back with a 259 error code, just so you know. If you do have spaces in your uh, path, you will need to uh, put those in double quotes but that's only for this part of the path. Uh, anything after the slash I that you see here, um, you don't need a, you don't need print. If you have a space there, you don't need a space or a double quotes in there, pardon me. Um, and then we're gonna do uh, our language, et cetera, et cetera. So now this, uh, I wanna call a few things out here. Slash QB. Now this is, this means a quiet basic, which means um, if you, uh, if, if someone's logged on, I, they would probably see some statuses going on. They're not gonna be asked any questions, but they'll see some flashing. This is kind of how it's built with Autodesk. Um, I've had success, if you want to make this totally quiet where nobody sees anything, you, you could do a slash Q, do not do a slash QN, the deployment will hang. You could do a slash Q, um, but I'm actually gonna go QB only because we've seen this have a much greater success rate when you do this. And then go to your conditions and uh, change your OS. We only wanna install this on Windows 10, 8.1 or Windows 7, only on 64-bit. And then in your options, if you do the QB, go ahead and do uh, run as deploy user interactive. And once again, this will allow, if someone's logged on, they will see these flashing, these the flashing status bars and stuff, but we see a higher success rate there. Once again, if you don't want to do that, you can keep the run as deploy user, not the interactive, and change that to a, a slash Q, but not a QN. A lot of people get burned on that one. Your success code, since uh, we're doing a command step, you need to enter these 1641 and 3010. We, we have noticed um, a couple of Autodesk deployments will always return a 1641. 1641 means that the deployment was successful and a reboot is now taking place. Uh, 3010 means it's successful, but a reboot needs to happen. Here's, the, here's the, what appears to be a bug in the Autodesk stuff. 
uh, and that is it'll return in 1641 even if it's not rebooting the target computer. Either way, that should be considered a success. That's why we're putting that as a success code. And remember, your, su your success codes are delimited by commas. And we'll just call this uh, install AutoCAD. I'm going to name that step. And it's pretty much all you have to do. Remember, you've added the slash uppercase W. We've kept the QB. We changed the options to deploy user interactive. All right. And then I'm actually going to, uh, we're going to deploy this to a couple of machines. Let me go to Hannibal. I'm going to log into Hannibal right now. Only because I want you to see what uh, other users might be seeing. So someone's logged on. Uh, we're also going to deploy this to a Windows 10 machine called Swedish Snooze. Let's go ahead and deploy it. By the way, I just opened this up in PDQ inventory. It's not a requirement for this. Now we're going to hit deploy. Pardon me, I just hit the, the control button. Let me just click the deploy button. I just hit the control D. And you could choose your targets a number of ways from Active Directory groups or PDQ inventory collections. But like I said, I'm just going to type these in. Uh, so these are both 64-bit machines. Uh, we built the 64-bit deployment. I don't know why anybody would use 32-bit. Do you, JJ? Why would they use 32-bit for AutoCAD? <laughs> Sorry. This ain't, this ain't uh, 2001 anymore, folks. Anyway, uh, we'll hit deploy now. And it's going to go out. Nobody has logged on to Swedish Snooze. So if no one's logged on, the deployment, that slash QB and the deploy user interactive should still work. But if they, uh, if they are logged on, which, which once again they are to, uh, to Hannibal, they'll probably start seeing some, some windows pop up like you see right here. This is what they would be seeing. Um, if you don't want that, once again, try that slash Q. But uh, we've seen a really high success rate this way. Now, this will take a while. This could take anywhere from, from five minutes to even see it take up to 30 minutes. It depends on the speed of your network. We're talking about transferring gigabytes of data down to each of these targets from these file servers. So it could take a while, um, meaning we are going to uh, take a little break and come back in a moment and uh, see how the deployment went. All right, welcome back. So you can see from our deploy uh, window that both Hannibal and Swedish Snooze were successful, and they were successful uh, just eight seconds apart. So it took seven minutes, 19 seconds for one. Um, and now I'm just going to open up, just so you see there's nothing up our sleeve, I'm going to open up this uh, remote desktop for Hannibal, and you can see the AutoCAD uh, icon is there. They double click on that. They're going to be asked if they want to register, et cetera, et cetera. But it is now up and running, and if you use an inventory program, like uh, SCCM or, of course, PDQ Inventory. Um, you should be able to, after a scan, go out, look at those computers and verify that the Autodesk products are, in fact, installed. So that's how you do it. Uh, we're always welcome for, uh, or hoping to hear your feedback. I'm Shane. Thanks, JJ. Rock and roll, guys. We'll talk to you later.